Welcome to DWBI Adda channel. Please subscribe for latest training videos. Today we are continue our tutorial about Firebase data manipulating and review of our activities. So let's go and review incomes and investments activities. Here we are at the incomes activity. As you can see, we have some defined objects here. We have a bunch of text views, some integer and string variables, recycler views, recycler view layout managers, and some Firebase variables. So let's start. We have our initialize function where we are initializing everything, as you can see here. We have this while loop and we're going through it while this variable k is less than 3. Why we are doing that? Because we are going through three categories, home, business and taxes. For default, k is 0. So let's start. If our variable k is 0, that's the first case. We are setting our variable sum to 0 and relocating our database reference to the business and income trial. After that, we are going through reading data from database as you can see. Again we have variable n which has the value of children count in invested. We have some conditions here if n is not equals to 0 and n is not equals to minus 1 we can go here. We have three arrays here array incomes, array total and array of dates. We initialize them here uh, as their length is n. We're going through the for loop here and as you can see we're getting the string value of data snapshot dot child incomes plus number dot value and we add sign for the euro here. Then we have array of dates and uh, we read dates from our incomes and then in this array total we are adding value from this incomes plus number but difference between these and these arrays is that we use this to represent data as a string and this as an integer. So now we are checking if array total element at the position i is bigger than max. If that's true, max gets the value of array total and that, at that element and our maximum index gets the value of this number here. We are doing this to find a maximum element for each of these three categories so we can represent it later. We have value sum on which we added array total element at the number e. After that at total for every three categories we are adding this sum because that's total of this whole loop. So we are adding to total total if I can call it like that and number of incomes plus this number number n because that's the number of incomes for business. After that we are setting uh, total sum to our text view sum business and to text view max business we set text largest income and then array incomes at the max index which we found out here. We reset our sum and maximum and maximum so we can use it in searching for other maximums and totals and here is the layout manager where we are creating our recycler view we're calling this adapter here is the else for this if and we're sending the message to user that we don't have any business income that would be it for this category number one this story repeats for each of categories as you can see thing that's different is uh, our path to the data as you can see here, also here for taxes. Everything else is same like in procedure for this category. Now we'll talk about uh, this data that we collected during 
call while loop it's sum total total or total sum and number of incomes so why do we need to collect this data and this maximum also and where do we use them so let's explain we are setting that data in our last activity activity where uh, key is 2 so we are sure that we go through all of these categories 1 and 2 and then we can set our data in uh, category 3 so we have some text views, text views, some taxes and we are setting some for each of these categories in each of these case as you can see also for the maximum and we talked about that so that uh, shouldn't be uh, any problem and then we have TV total and then we are setting total total uh, to that text view that represents the total money uh, in incomes active also we have average income and uh, we are getting that average income by dividing total total with incomes number we parse it to double because uh, we want to be accurate and to have uh, more decimals and as you can see we are rounding that number here to two decimals after that we are setting that to text view average and uh, let me show you how that looks on a layout as you can see here we are at the incomes layout and uh, we have text view here we have some text views here also recycle views where we put data that we loaded in our while loop so this data from these arrays is going to each one of uh, three recycle views then we have total and that's this value sum total for each one of activities then largest income that's this here maximum we're collecting our maximum here as you can see and uh, also we have total income that's this total total that's why we're collecting some from uh, each of these three categories and also average income by dividing total total with incomes number and here is where we are collecting number of incomes so that would be an explanation of connection between this layout and this activity and uh, I hope that you understand better now this incomes activity after this explanation. Here we are at the investments activity. We have to do the same process here. We have three categories and three recycled views. Total, largest investment, total invested and average investment. So let's review the code. We have design objects here defined and we initialize them we have almost the same code like in previous activity while loop well it is less than three then we have three categories and here is how we load that we locate our database references then reading from database as you can see some statements again n now this n variable is uh, get children from our database reference but why is there minus one it's because we have two sub trials for invested we have invested money and just investments investments with description and just volume from invest so that's why we are diminishing one here let's go further we have three arrays again array invested array totals and array dates we're collecting our data and then we have try and catch function if some errors appears here we collect our data and if our array at the element t is bigger than maximum then we're saving it uh, that's because we want to find the maximum and we are adding it to the sum again we have total total we're adding the sum on it and number of investments so we can use them later we're setting the text to the text views and I wanted to mention these three variables here we need to set them to zero because if we don't do that next time when we use them they'll uh, have some value uh, from past category and uh, our calculations uh, wouldn't be precisely 
won't be accurate so we need to reset this value so this part is for resetting variables so we can use them later starting counting from zero that's very important and if we don't do that we can uh, chase many errors and we're creating a recycler view here if some conditions are not okay we'll inform user about that with this toast message it repeats here and also here and like in previous activity in this uh, last category taxes we are filling in the text view total and text view average and here is the process how we getting the average investments and then round off function to round our number to two decimals and that's it about incomes and investments activity code here is very very long but uh, as you can see it's very simple it just copy and paste for each of uh, three categories i hope that you understood everything very well and these two activities are very simple their logic is very simple so just reading and collecting that until the next video thank you and goodbye